Got something a little different going on today. We're out. I just bought a muzzle loader on Monday. It's Wednesday. Yesterday, shot it about 10 times, sighted it in. We're gonna try to hunt public land with it tonight. See if we can't put down our first year with uh, the old muzzle loader. We're on a piece of public that I used to have permission to hunt when it was private. It's a giant mountain. And uh, we're gonna go hunt some private land. Well, we're gonna go hunt real close to some private land where they're standing corn. Obviously, I can only shoot a doe. From the map I was looking at, it looks like there's a bunch of walking trails on here now. And I pretty much parked at a campsite. So I've never accessed, I always go to the other parking lot because it's bigger. But there's nobody here. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, right up here's the power line. So yeah, years ago, when this was private, my dad had permission to hunt it. And I remember coming here as a kid with him. And it was just packed full of deer. Obviously, it's not packed with deer anymore. Because of it being public, but there's still, there's still a, uh, a lot of deer in the area. I actually shot my first ever public land deer here. First deer I ever got on film, I do believe. Uh, I'll link that in the description. It's not nearly as good as these videos I make now, but if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it for you. So I'm shooting Hornady SST. Sabos, 250 grain. Obviously, this is a 50 cal rifle. So, there's what I'm shooting. Drop that in there. Got a little starter in here. Get her going. Now, hopefully, I'm only going to need one shot because loading these things kind of sucks. I'm going to pop my primer in. We're ready to hunt. So my plan is I want to walk out this power line. The wind is like very ever so slightly blowing south. Um, I don't know if I want to drop down and try to hunt there or if I want to go up and hunt facing up. I guess we'll see when we get there what, uh, what it looks like out there. I haven't been down here in probably 10, 12 years. So bugs are bad man so I'm just gonna sneak my way through this power line I mean they might be in this power line but uh, I, mean, I kind of doubt it it being like a walking trail so gonna get out there and uh, see if we can't put a doe down tonight well I just got to where I thought I was gonna sit and there's a ladder stand here um, I don't exactly know like what proper etiquette is, but someone's gotta stand here. They can hunt there over me, it's fine. So, I guess we gotta go up the mountain. So, not looking too forward to that because it's hot. It's gotta be pushing 73, 74 degrees. But, right down there. There's the guy's ladder stand. It's a good spot too. There's a blind out this way. And that blind, I think, is overlooking the cornfield. Yeah, right there. those deer are going to end up going to that cornfield at some point tonight so I'm going to get out my phone look at ONX and just try to try to figure a plan out I'm kind of flying 
flying off the seat of my pants right now. One hell of a view, that's for sure. You guys see all these bugs? I don't know if you can see all these bugs, but holy crap. I got a couple hundred just flying around me right now. They're driving me nuts. Crazy how many bugs are here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like right up against the, the property line right now. But years ago, this was not here. I'm on like a trail. Like you can see it behind me. I just stopped to get a drink and cool off a little bit because I'm sweating so bad. Yeah, this was never like this. Watch these clothes. They're all wet from sweating. But I think what I'd like to do is go up a little further. It's actually some private land uh, that a friend of ours owns. And, uh, I know they hug his property a lot. All right, let's go up there a little bit. Oh, I think I found where I'm gonna sit for the night. Um, I got a big hole. But I, yeah, a big old oak tree behind me. I mean, it's huge. And uh, where I'm positioned oh, is like. expect for tonight. Uh, obviously, you guys who are subscribed know I am not much of a public land hunter. I very rarely do it for deer, just because of how many people there normally are. Um, but I was only guarding the parking lot when I got here. And I also don't see any tree stands, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to sit back and try to cool down because I am hot. I have way too much on. I barely have anything on as it is. I probably shouldn't have been walking around with this on. Should have just been walking around in my work shirt. Looks like that wind's coming right in my face, which that's gonna work out perfectly for us. If anything were to funnel out through here and onto the private land, oh, if I see anything, I'll keep you guys posted. Let's go. 
like a 20 minute walk back to the truck, so try to uh, catch any deer that might be moving in between that power line. Plus I can walk real quiet on that trail because it's all grass. They'll never hear me. It's about 6.10. Um, I haven't heard anything moving around me. And uh, <clears throat> the wind has now shifted. It's at my back rolling down the hill. And obviously that's not good because I'm facing down the hill. So I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm gonna get my stuff together and just slowly work my way down the hill. Start working my way back towards the truck. Well, I just made it down off the mountain here, and now I'm back on that power line. So I'm just gonna real slow work my way back to the truck. I have. At least like to get to see something. At this point, you know, I don't really care if I get something. But seeing them is still fun. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just about back of the truck. Definitely gave it my best shot for public land. But, wanted to try it. Like I said, I know this land pretty well. I felt like I had a, a leg up, but who knows how much pressure this place has been getting. I know in rifle season it gets swamped. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. If you haven't already, leave a like. It helps my videos reach more people. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Until next time. I'll see you guys. Peace.